Instruction path on IP-175, repair track maintenance of the DB-60 type freight brake equipment. Procedure for testing the DB-60 type freight brakes on repair tracks. Repair track or single car testing air brakes must be performed at 90 PSI. All brake testing must be performed in accordance with the applicable sections of the Association of American Railroad Standards 7486, latest reversion, revision. If the DB-10 service portion is determined as defective, refer to Section 5.1. If the DB-20 emergency portion is defective, refer to 5.2. If the body-mounted brake cylinder is defective, refer to Section 5.3. If the truck-mounted brake cylinder is determined to be defective, refer to Section 5.4. If the vent valve is determined to be defective, refer to Section 5.5. If the angle cock is determined defective, refer to Section 5.6. If the end cock is determined defective, refer to 5.7. If the dirt collector cutout cock is determined defective, refer to 5A. If retaining valve is determined defective, refer to 5.9. If the slack adjustment is determined defective, refer to 5.10 through 5.11. If uh, the empty load portion is determined defective, refer to 5.12 through 5.16. 4.14. Repairs when required must be in accordance with the component-specific maintenance procedure which can be obtained by the NYAB service representative. 5.5. Procedures. For cleaning, disassembling in a, of the DB-60 freight brakes on repair tracks. Warning, solvent and solvent fumes can be harmful to health, and when using solvent, be sure to wear eye, skin, and respiratory protection work in a well-ventilated area. Avoid repeated or prolonged contact. Keep solvent and container closed. Keep solvent away from sparks and flames and heat. Failure to observe these specific safety precautions can lead to injury or intoxication. Clean use of air, compressed air can use particles to become airborne. Be sure to wear eye protection. Do not exceed 30 PSI. Failure to observe these safety precautions can lead to injury. 5.1. The DB-10 service portion. If the result of the air brake testing confirmed with the service portion defective, the following steps are used to replace the service portion of strain. Uh, 5.1.1. Strainer nut wrench the standard in a standard box end wrench with a socket wrench with the wrench open at 5 sixteenths of an inch. Pli pliers to remove the cotter pin with the release valve handle are necessary. 5.1.2. Drain air out of the auxiliary reserve and emergency reserve and air brake cylinder. 5.13. Drain, drain and release the valve handle, leaving it attached to the release rod. 5.14. Scrape and wipe and blow off all the dirt adjacent to the gasket between the pipe brake and the valve portion. Use the air hose to blow off all the loose dirt on the control valve portion, pipe bracket, hopper slopes, car under the frame, and etc. The otherwise get in the control valve of portion and bracket when the portion is being removed and clean portion is being applied. 515. The remove the service portion immediately. Apply the spare shipping covers in the gaskets of the portion. See figure 4 or 5. Tighten the mounting brakes. 516. The service portion must be carefully handled to, ha handled to avoid an entrance of dirt, water, and damage to internal parts. 517. Apply the standard alternate stem guard for the service portion. Figure 4 and 5. Hold in the place with the cotton pin. 518. The valve portion is removed. The conditions are found with the portion of the pipe bracket, evidencing that the car brake equipment has been submerged in water. Special edition cleaning operation not regularly performed as well or will be required in section 7.0. For the portions mounted with the standard brake at C figure 1 and 2, the filter element is located with the pipe bracket between, behind the service portion. Remove the filter element. Use the strainer wrench in figure C figure 6. 5110. Blow any of the dirt, water, or out of the yard airline in connected with the car brake or pipe. 5111. Close the dirt collector or cutout cock. Blow up the brake pipe and open angle cock at the opposite end of the car that apply with the dummy, dummy coupling to this end. Leave the body and both angle cocks open. Remove the cup and the dirt collector. Leave it unclean. Valve the portion is applied with only the dirt collector cutout cock. Blows out the dirt for the branch pipe, then, a, then close it. 5113. For portions mounted with the standard brake pipe, C figure 1 and 2, apply with the new filter element located in the pipe bracket behind the service portion. A wood mandel, uh, mandrel will assist in guiding the filler with the proper position. Make certain that the inner end of the engagement of the sealing bead, and if inserted, all nuts and threads of the bracket will be visible. The installer nut shown in figure 7 with the pipe brake does not have an excess receiver plate and strainer nut shown in figure 8 in the pipe bracket. Have access receiver plate tightened in the film firmly with a service portion of strainer nut. 5114. The pipe bracket gasket must be replaced in the new gasket. One single sided brake pipe. One single sided pipe brackets will access receiver plate. See figure 9 of the choke plug. Stand off and installed with the pipe of the bracket. 
gasket must be reinstalled with a new gasket. 5115 shipping cover must not be removed. The, for the cleaning service portion will be unprepared until prepared to immediately mount the portion of the pipe bracket. Um, 15116. Remove the shipping cover of the cleaning service position. Immediately apply the portion of the pipe bracket and coating of the threads lightly with the brake cylinder lubricant of the very AR specification M194 or M1. 914 comp com compound consisting of one part or dry uh, graphite AR section uh, AR specification M913 two parts of the oil SA E20 degree 20 weight tighten the mounting nuts evenly firmly to 60 to 75 foot pound, pound of torque um, when replacing the valve portion and pertin with the mounting of the nuts are significantly tightened to prevent the gasket from leakage and yet extensively cause distortion covered in the gaskets. Remove the stem guard, reconnect the release of the valve handle, um, which can be left attached into the police the rod, release the valve handle and plate of 316 inch counter. Note that a 516 of the counter will provide with a connection rod to the handle if not replaced with a 516 inch counter. Clean and blow dirt directly. Clean and blow out the dirt collector, dirt chamber, clean the check valve, and refer to the GL465. Replace the check valve if required. Renew the gasket, then assemble and tighten the bolts evenly to 29, 35 foot pound of torque. Dry torque. Um, 5125, 5121, check the cylinder reserve pipe bracket for the loose mounting bolt. So nuts, if missing or loose, they must be renewed and tightened C749 for the torque requirements. 5122, all repairs have been completed. The entire air brake system must be tested per rule 3 of the AAR field manual. 5123, the recondition of the DB10 service portion. Refer to the New York air brake procedure from the NYR um, 332. Sorry, 33.2, latest version, revision, kept copies obtained through the field office. All right, DB20 shows the emergency portion, DB30, the pipe bracket, and DB10, another service portion. Uh, service portion. The um, 10WB is, the 10W, 10B10 is the service portion, 10B30 is the pipe bracket, 10B20 is the emergency portion. Figure 1060, control valve opening, operating portions of stand bright, standard, standard pipe bracket. Front view, the DB20L emergency portion, DB30L pipe bracket, DB10 service portion. DB10 service portion, DB30 pipe bracket, DB20 emergency portion, figure 220B control or operation portion, sand pipe bracket. Alright, this shows the 10B service portion with a 1030S single sided pipe bracket, 1020 emergency portion front view, rear view, TB20 TB emergency portion, TB30 side single pipe bracket review, TB service, service portion, DB control valve operation portion side thing. Side side pipe bracket. Uh, these are the shipping curb, court, um, portion, the service portion, emergency portion. Uh, release release valve with the sim guards, the standard and alternate. Standard sh figure four shipping parts. 10D st um, 10BD service portion, 10B20 emergency portion, control valves, the shipping parts. Um, this shows a run. Service portion for strainer and nut wrench. Strainer nut standard pipe bracket without access to the receiver plate. Strainer nut stand pipe bracket with access to the receiver plate. Alright, this shows the choke plug standoff installed on the service portion of the gasket captiva captivity by the service portion. Choke plug standoff. 5D, DB and DB20L emergency portion. If the result of the air brake testing conform with the emergency portion, the defect of the following steps are used to replace the emergency portion. 521, the trainer nut wrench in the standard box wrench and the sock wrench wrench opening of the 516th of an inch necessary. 522, draining the air out of the auxiliary air, air, air reserve, emergency reserve in the brake cylinder. 523, scrape off, blow off oil dirt adjacent with the gasket between, between the pipe bracket and the valve portion. Use an air, blow the all the loose dirt and control valve portion pipe bracket, hopper, 
globes, car underframes, etc. How that may otherwise be in control valve and um, get into the control valve portion of the bracket when the portion is being removed or cleaned, the portion be applied. Five two four. The emergency portion immediately applied with the spare shipping the cover with the gasket. See figure four and five. Tighten its mounting nuts. Five two five. The emergency portion must be carefully handled to avoid ent entrance of dirt and water damage to the internal parts. Five two six. When the valve portion is removed, the conditions are found with the portion of pipe bracket evidence for the car braking equipment has been submerged in the water. Special and additional cleaning operation regularly performed will be required and directed in section 7.0. Single side with the pipe brackets containing filler with located with the pipe bracket behind the emergency room was removed the filler element with the strainer nut wrench C figure 6. Blow any of the dirt and water out of the yard airline airline and attach the hose connection to the car brake pipe. Close the dirt cart collector cutout cock of the blow out of the brake pipe, opening an angle cock at the opposite end of the car, then apply with the dummy coupling to the, this end and leave with both angle cocks open. 5 2, 10, Remove the cup and the dirt collector. Leave it out un off until un uh, until cleaned over the portion is applied. Open the dirt collector. Cut out clock to blow out the dirt of the branch pipe. Then close it. The portion is mounted with the single side single side of the pipe bracket. Then seal the new filter element with the pipe bracket located behind the emergency portion of Wandel mandrel. Assist with the guiding of the filter in the proper position. Make certain that the mandrel linear is inner uh, and engaged with the sealing of the heel bearded with the inserted properly as threaded with the visible. Install the strainer and nut tightening firmly as the emergency portion straight. Not straightener, nut wrench. Um, 5212 pipe bracket gasket must be replaced with a new gasket. 5213 shipping cover must be removed with a cleaning emergency portion well until the immediately mounted with the portion of the pipe bracket. 5214 dependent on the car length and appropriate emergency portion of the DB20 and DB20L. Duplication fi C figure 11 must be available to the different lower the side of the pipe bracket ensures the appropriate portion if in doubt with the proper valve configuration consults with the uh, rule number four of the Air Amer Association of American R Railroad Feed field manual interchange rules with the emergency portion gasket in place with the pipe bracket and fully seated with the locking projection remove the shipping cover the chain clean emergency portion immediately mount the portion siding Lighting slow, slowly and carefully onto the stud against the pipe bracket, tighten the mounting nuts evenly and firmly to 65 to 75 pounds per tor foot a pound foot and pounds torque dry torque. All right, here is a. Uh, Emergency part portion strainer nut wrench. Um, five two sixteen. When replacing the valve portion, is important that the mounting of the nut is sufficiently tightened to prevent the gasket from leaks. You not excessively and ca cause distortion. Cover the gaskets clean and blow the out of the dirt co collector ditch um, dirt chamber to check the checking valve. Refer to the GL four sixty five. Replace the check valve if required. Renew the gaskets. The assembly tighten the bolts evenly with the twenty nine to thirty five foot. Um, pounds of torque, dry, um, dry torque. Check the cylinder reserve pipe bracket, loosening mountain nuts and missing with the loose so that they must be renewed and tightened. See secure 79 torque requirements. 529219. After all the reports have been completed, the entire brake system must be tested per Rule 30 of the Association of American Railroad Field Ma Manual. F220 for reconditioning the DB20, DB20L emergency portion. Refer to the New York Air Brake Repair Procedures or NYR. Um, 429, last revision copy that must be obtained through the field office. All right, this shows the number one and identifies the emergency portion with the spill over the check of the valve. And the L letter N on the top of the cover has no significance. The DBL emergency portion identified with the letter on both the front and side of the um, covers the DB20L cover and contains the boss extended projection with accommodated laundry, longer emergency portion mounted study. Instruction for the DB20, DB20 emergency portion identification. 5-3. Body-mounted cylinders. If the result of the air brake testing confirmed with the um, brake cylinder is defective, the following steps are used to replace the position piston and no, non-pressure head assembly. Drain the air from the reserve and brake cylinder. Remove the cotter pin cleavage and disconnect the move of the brake cylinder. Push right with the cylinder. See figure 12. 12. So, sorry. See figure 12. Warning to avoid personal injury may occur with the non-pressure of the... Um, head assembly not secured with the hollow rod collar. Examine the collar to determine what, what that it was, uh, what it will that it will hold securely. Five three two. Remove the pistons. Release the spring. Non pressure with the complete assembly. These position these parts must be transported um, to the Association of American Railroad approved air brake shop for the reconditioning. Five three three. The suitable cover of the containers must be provided with the brake cylinder piston and hollow rod. Non pressure head assemblies must be carefully handled to the car with the transported with the um, to and from the car so that all the parts inadequate or will be adequately protected against the damage and contact any kind of dirt. No, if the responsibility of the individual railroad is to provide with adequate protection means of the transporting components. 
Five, three, four. Remove the non-pressure head gasket cleaning with the seal cleaning. The brake cylinder applied the new gasket with the assembling cylinder. And three, five, three, five. Start through the cleaning of the air brake cylinder. First, use the dull rounded scraper to remove all the grease and any dirt. Five, three, six. Use suitable solvent necessary with the soft and the gut. Home deposit the room with the rust. Then wipe off the dirt and clean the rag. Clean with the rags. When the cylinder is clean, unless pre prepared, immediately apply with the clean and lubricate it with the piston and non-pressure head assembly. The cylinder should be covered to protect the dust and dirt. The lubricant should be applied with the cylinder just before the cleaning and lubricated position. Piston is assembled. The groove in the cylinder will all bearing surface, um, surfaces and piston packing will complete with the brake cylinder lubrication. Association of American Railroads M914. On newer brake cylinder, the strainer is designed with the gasket and non-pressure head matching identification identity and denotation indentation of mounting face and the accommodated strainer the older style use of the flat gasket with separate strainer mounted with the exhaust opening with the side at the non-pressure get head the combined gasket strainer must be only used when new design non-pressure head has been matching identification mounting face see figure 13 the flat gasket separated with the round strainer must only be used on the older design new non-pressure head gasket exhausting opening on the on the side see figure 13 Three ten uh, five three ten. Immediately apply the new gasket and non-pressure head assembly with the cylinder making with the sure the non-pressure head is exhaust with the strainer is located with the down position. Then tighten the non-pressure head of the bolts with three, three plus or minus three foot pounds of torque dry torque. Five three eleven. Connect the pusher rod to the cleavage lever. Use the cleavage of the pin or counter pin. Slack the adjusters on the cars equipped with them. Must be inspected with repair or renewed when necessary. If the pipe flange has been disconnected from the cylinder, replace the ring gasket and tighten with one half an inch grade five flange bolts at fifty five plus or minus five foot pounds of torque foot port, foot to torque um dry torque. 513, all repairs have been completed with the brake cylinder must be tested with the rule 3 of the Association of American Railroad Field Manual. 513, 15, after reconditioning the body mounted um, cylinder, uh, uh, refer to the new air brake um, repairs procedure in NYR 428. Latest revision copies must be obtained through the any field route. Um, office shows the brake cylinder with the cotter cleavage uh, clatter pin and the cle cleavage pin push rod right connection figure 12. Um, figure, figure 13 shows non-pressure heads, old design, new design. 524 truck mounted cylinders the NYCPO PAC assembly with a handbrake figure 13 if results with the air brake testing with the NYCO PAC brake cylinders defective with the following steps are used to replace the cylinder assembly the truck on wheels should be caught and choked and prevented with an unwanted roll warning the following local railroad procedure when removing the trucks in order to prevent the personal injury when work done in the car at the car will be accomplished with either jacking the car rolling truck out of with the car with the over pit with the depressed air between the rails disconnect the the all from all air from all the reserve of the brake cylinders disconnect brakes disconnect disconnect the brake cylinders hose and cylinder flange disconnect the handbrake chain okay um when hose is disconnected inspect the hose for the age of abrasions cracks soft spots loose or defective fittings per rule five of the association of micro railroads field manual plate replaces fit um required five one four one five one four five four one six remove the cotter pin push the rod pin discard with the cotter pin push on the push on the beam and the end of the close with the bolt 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 should possibly you know, use two wrenches to loosen the push rod locking now unscrew the remove the low of the push rod and place it in the bolster inspection push rod if the damage Return to the shop at the repair place in one of the same lengths. Warning the Blake Cylinder Assembly 11 inches under the comprehensive load and will tend to the spring toward the axle. Examine the push rod holder figure 10. Determine that it is securely in place by four, removing the figure and removing nuts 14 and figure 11 to prevent the personal injury. Remove, remove, nuts, four, remove nuts 14, lock washer 13, and bolts 12. To remove the cylinder 11 from the beam 1. Remove and discard the gasket 10 from the beam 1. Remove the brake shoe keys 4 from the beam 1. Remove the brake shoes from 3 and discard the brake shoes. If they are worn beyond the acceptable standards, 5111 cylinder assembly must be transported by the Association of American Remove the approved air brake shop for the reconditioning. Suitable containers must be provided with the assembly, must be carefully handled with the car while being transported with the to and from the car so that the parts will be effectively protected against the damage and contact of any dirt. Can of any kind of dirt. This is a responsible individual railroad to provide with such an adequate protective means. 514-113, clean and the rest of the dirt in the cylinder bolting face of the beam, clean spring with the cavity of the beam, install a new strainer and a new gasket 10, use the film of the brake cylinder lubricate on both sides of the spring seat, stop the flange on the unit body of the face of the holding gasket 10 in place. 
54114, making certain the hollow, a hollow ride guide gasket and two hollow ride guide is placed in along with the spring seat stop of the cylinder body of the flange bolt 11, flange bolt holes in those of the unit body. Um, making certain that the spring seat should stop at the drain hole and facing downward. 54115. The position of the cylinder assembly 11 in the beam of the cavity 1 and install the two top bolts 12. Lock washer 13, then start with the 14 nuts 14. Position the hollow right guide in the beams of the left 1 and there it resets the grasping of the push rod, shifting the beam cylinder assembly until the release of the spring push guides into the place when install the lower bolt 12. Tighten all the nuts 14 through 135, 165 foot and pounds of the dry torque one four one five one four one sixteen push rod clean the push rod thin through the thread lubricated with the brake cylinder lubricant turn the push rod fifteen into the push rod into the two to earns of the beyond the mark of the previously placed on the push rod in in line with the pinholes in the push rod with the pinholes in the beam insert sixteen lock in the cotter pin, pin insert the spacing of the block dimensions between the brake heads and the bolts of the beams the four wheels and close the possible the, the flange if the push rod adjustment is necessary to permit the spacing of the block inserting version rotate the push rod and shorten the push rod and the, when the facing of the bolster from the pressure on the brake cylinder and the wrenching handle up and down uh, moving the wrench with the handle and the right will shorten the rod and moving the left and length of the rod 5118 four, 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 adjust both rods and snug the spacing of the blocks against the wheels of the rotating bolt the push ends of the length push rods after the push rods has been snuggled with the space of the blocks against the wheels rotate both push rods ends one half the turn to the right shorten the rod and easy spacing block Removal. 514119. Removing spacing block of the installed brake shoes and the three on the beam. The one if new shoes of the beam were being mounted in usually one and a quarter of an inch, one half an inch thick the thick shoes. Insert the brake shoes uh, keys and to hold the brake shoes of the three the beam is one. Um tighten the push rod lock nut securely. C figure fourteen. Replace the strainer five and the gasket six. Retest the B C hose seven and with the bolts eight and nine with the torque graded with the five bolts of the five fifty five pounds or minus five feet plus or minus five foot and pounds of torque. Dry torque. Five one um, twenty testing. All the repairs have been completed. The brake cylinder must be tested. The rules three of the Air Association of American Railroad Field Man. 51421 for reconditioning the NYCPAC cylinder refer to the New York Air Brake Repair Procedure NYR 105. The latest revision copy to may be obtained for the any field office. All right, here shows your um, figure 14 push rod holder and lock nut, the push rod holder and the lock nut. Um, figure 15 shows the NYPCA um, assembly with the brake shoes um, with a handbrake. This shows the uh, brake beam and the brake shoes. Um, um, figure 16 shows spacing and hanger dimensions. For the head break, um, space block spacing blocking equipment block basement figure 17. Five, five one twenty two the NYPCA handbrake adjustment of the figure 18 to perform on the new cars after the any of the new cars turn with wheel replacement after the truck replacement five one twenty three the release handbrake of the horizontal with the handbrake chains should be minimal slack if so handbrake adjustment of the wrapper if not so protected with the five one four twenty one. Four, five one four five four one twenty four disconnect adjustment of the pin anchor club its pull and pull on the pull rod in the hand with the insert of the pin in the farthest hole possible if the action brings the horizontal chain to the minimal slack of the slack adjustment is proper if the chain is still loose move back one hole with the make of the adjustment of the bottom rod is step in the five one four five four one twenty five 54125 is necessary in the step of the 54122 or 51424, moving the pin at one end of the bottom of the outside hole. This action should be bringing the horizontal shot. If no tightening of the chain anchor club is a step of the 514124, note. The movement of the pin of the anchor club is on one hole towards the body of the anchor from the hole that L to the hole K will shorten the horizontal chain with the travel approximately three inches. Movement of the pin of the bottom of the connection rod towards the end of the rod from A to hole B, the shortening of the 
the chain of the travel four three eighths of an inch. The brake assembly handbrake can be a chain adjusted with the compensator with the shoe and the who wear with the pin connection with the connecting rod anchor club with the connecting rod length and can be varied with the means of the two holes one three quarter inch as part of each end of the prep from her to the A and B. The anchor club is going to be also be adjusted in the manner and contained with the two holes three inches apart in K and L for the maximum adjustment of the table is set in five one twenty eight for the show adjustment to be obtained with the connecting the three holes to the corners with the letter code indicated. 5127. The anchor club is going to be adjusted with the manner it contains with the two holes of three inches apart with the reference of K and L with the maximum adjustment of the table as shown in 514128. Show the adjustment in R obtained with the connecting the holes in the corners with the letter indicated. It shows the connecting rod, the anchor club is to the anchors with a hand to the handbrake. Um, and the NYPCAA, NYZOPAC handbrake adjustment. The table 54128 shows the handbrake and adjustment connection codes with the compensation of each side, each shoe and equivalent horizontal chain travel. 542 NYPCH 2 assembly with a handbrake truck set figure 19. If results of the airbrake truck testing confirmed with the NYPCAO. PAC2 brake cylinder is defective with the following steps that are used to replace the cylinder assembly. 521 541 Four, sorry, 5421. The truck wheels should be chocked to prevent unwanted roll. Warning The following local procedure, railroad procedure, will remove the truck in order to prevent the personal injury. 54222. Work done with the car with must be accomplished either by jacking the car or rolling the truck out under the or with or with the car over the pit to compress air between the rails. Five four two three the drain all reserve of the brake cylinders five four two four the disconnecting the brake cylinder hose to the cylinder flange five four two five when hose are disconnected inspect the hose for the overage abrasion cracks soft spots looses defective fittings per five rule per rule five of the A, um, AAR field manual places required. Five two six five two four two six with, with a pry or with a bar pry on the levers or the shoes so that the cylinder thirteen um, is fully retracted. Five four two seven remove the brake shoe fourteen with the primary B one and the secondary beam three remove the brake shoe fifteen. For cylinders equipped with the handbrake cables steps five four two eight through five four two nine. Remove the scatter pins with the clevis attached with the clevis ends with the cable to equalizing the plate with the chain pulls on. Five four two nine. Loosen the cable um, cable lock nut and uh, cable lock nut holding the cable to the car bracket. Removing the cable from the bra bracket. Five four two ten. Remove the similar. Remove the de um, thirteen. Remove and discard cotter pin fifty five and from the pin four. Remove the two pins. Remove the cylinder thirteen. The assembly must be transported by the Association of American Railroad approved the air brake shop for reconditioning. 54213. For the suitable containers must provide with the assembly, must be carefully handled with the car while transported with the end of the car so all parts will be effectively protected against damage and contact with any kind of dirt. No, it is responsibly individual railroad to provide with such adequate protective means. The brake cylinder ram is to be fully retracted before installation. 524214. Assembly install the brake cylinder um, 13 onto 12, lever 12. Install the pin 4 into the cylinder 13, lever, and the lever 12. And insert the new cotter pin 5 into the pin 4. For cylinders, and equipped with a handbrake cable step 54215 through 54216. No cable bend is not less than 10 inches minimum the required for the proper installation. 54215 attach the cable to the mounting bracket and place one nut on one washer each side of the bracket, tighten the nuts and snugly. Snugly 54216 attach the clevis end of the cable to the equalizer chain bracket with the clevis and cotter pins. Um, 54217. Uh, Install the brake shoes 15 on the primary beam 1, secondary beam 3. And enter the brake shoe key for the 14 to the hole of the brake 15 to the beam 1 and 3. 5, 4, 2, 18. With the brakes only fully retract, check the total shoe clearance is 2 inches of the clearance between each shoe and the wheel edge. Just necessary to remove the two um, two shoes, the secondary um, two shoes 15 from the secondary beam 3 and the remove the clevis pin. 4 for the connection rod to the secondary beam 3 with the length of the short connection rod with the 7 with the necessary one complete. The turn gives approximately 1 eighth of the chain and the rod length and resemble to repeat the step of the refilter screen. 5, 4, 2, 19. Replace the trainer and gasket with the hose connection where we connect the brake cylinder close. Hose to to Torque the housing attachment with grade 5 bolts with 55 plus or minus foot pounds and torque to 542420. Testing all after the repairs have been completed. The brake cylinder must be tested per with rule 3 of the Association of American Railroads. 54221 reconditioning the NYPCA. NYCOPAC two brake cylinder refer to the New York Air Brake Repair Procedure NYR 283, NYR 284, and 285. Latest revision. Copies must be obtained from the field office.
All right, this shows your um, with ham truck set with handbrake when the brake shoes and the brake hand pins and the um, levers. Five four three NYPCA um, two assembly with a handbrake truck set figure twenty. If the result of the air brake testing confirmed with the NYPC NYCOPAC um, two A brake cylinder is defective, the following steps are used to replace the cylinder assembly. Five four three one of the truck shambles should be checked to prevent unwanted roll. The warning: the low ro local railroad procedure when removing the trucks in order to prevent the personal injury. Five four three two um, when the when done with the car to be accomplished with either the jacking the car with the rolling the truck out or with the car over the pit of the depressed area between the rails. Five four three three drain the air from all reserves and brake cylinders. Five four three disconnect the brake cylinder hose with the cylinder flange. Disconnect the handbrake chain. Five four three five when the hose is disconnected, inspect the hose over the edge of the abrasion crack soft spots, loose and defective fittings per Rule 5 of the Association of American Railroad Field Manual Places Required. 5436, when, when the bar prying on the lever is 9 and shoes 22 of the cylinders, 23 of the fully retracted. 5437, remove the brake shoes and 21 for the beams hex. Remove the disc scar with the brake shoes 22. 5438, remove the hex. 4 hex nuts from the 4 lock washer with the attached link. 542 um, with the cylinder assembly. 23 with the removal link. 42 with the cylinder assembly. 23. Move um, 5438. 439. Remove the two hex screws, lock nuts, 30 from both sides of the gimbal, 32 with the discard locking plates, 30. 54310. Remove the cylinder assembly, 23 from the gimbal, 32. Um, 54311. The assembly must not be transported with the, must be trans, sorry, the assembly must be transported with the Association of American Ra Railroad approved the air brake shop, the reconditioning. 54312. The suitable containers must be provided. The assembly must be carefully handled with the, 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 at the car with all being transported to either from the car or so that all the parts will be effectively protected against damage and contact with any kind of dirt. Note that if responsibility the individual were repaired, responsibility is the if it is, is the individual is the is responsibility the individual where to provide with the adequate protective means. Five four thirteen the inspection gimbal of the damage will repair and if damage is excessive wear is noted in any way the gimbal with the thirty two must be repaired and replaced. Five four thirteen uh, five four three fourteen inspecting bushing to damage excessive wear is not noted but the thirty two must may be replaced and repaired if the replacement necessary use the proper tool of the pressing of the bushing from the gimbal with the thirty two Press the new bushing and the Glenbow 32. 54315 assembly install the cylinder head one, cylinder assembly 23 into the gimbal 32 and circular the place in the new locking plates 30 with the hex screws 29 torque screws 29 with 135 to 165 foot pound dry torque bending lock tabs on one side of the screw 20 on one side of the screws 29 514316 uh the attached link assembly 42 and the cylinder assembly 23 with the unit with the lock washer 45 and the hex nuts 43. The torque the hex nuts 43 to a 28 32 foot pound torque, um, dry torque. Um, 54317 replace the strainer 28 and the gasket 27 with the hose connection. Reconnect the brake cylinder hose attached the grade five um, five bolts with the 25 and twix and the torque with the 50 pound plus or minus five foot pounds of torque, dry torque. Note the two inches of the composition shoe must be used for the brake head. 54318 the install the new, Three new shoes onto the brake head for securing the key 21. 54319. The new wheels and the three brake shoes pressed tightly against the wheel of the clearance with the also remain of the brake head. It made, will be approximately three and a half inches. If the warm wheels are used, the clearance should be greater than the amount worn from the, from the four wheels. 4320. If the clearance is inadequate, excessive brake between the brake head and the wheel, readjust the end of the 40 and, 40 and push rod three using the steps 54321 through 54326. Move the pin one from the rod end for um, five four twenty four five four three twenty one. Remove the pin one from the rod end forty with level transfer thirty seven. Five four to three two twenty two. The rotate the end forty and the end and out push rod three to obtain clearance. Note that one revolution of the rod end rod end gives approximately one eighth of an inch change in the rod length. Five four three twenty three. Install the rod at forty into the lever transfer at thirty seven. Install the pin one. Five four three twenty four. Re repeat steps five four. 218 through 54 222 to check for the proper clearance. 54 325. Install the fourth brake shoe into the brake head, securing the key 21. 54 326. Install the cotter pins into the pins in one and bend. Testing. After all the repairs have been completed, the brake cylinder must be tested with the pure rule. Rule three of the Association of American Railroad Field Manual. For five four three twenty eight, the reconditioning of the NYCPAC two cylinder and refer to the New York Air Brake Pressure Procedure NYR three thirty seven three seven four three seven six. Copies must be obtained through the field office. All right, this shows the uh brake beam lever with the brake shoes and their um um 
um, with the handbrake truck set. Um, 544, the TMB60 um, mounted brake system with the handbrake figure, figure 24-1. And with the result of the air brake testing confirmed with the T, that the TMB60 brake cylinder test is defective with the following steps. Air used to be replaced in cylinder assembly. 544-1, the truck assembly should be choked to prevent the unwanted rule. Warning the following local railroad procedures when removing the trucks in order to prevent the personal injury. 544-2, work done at the car may be accomplished either by jacking the car with rolling the truck or with the cover over the depressed area between the rails. 544-3, drain all the reservers brake Brake cylinders 5444. Four. Place all the large pry bar between the center of the bra any brake shoe, with the, um, preferably the secondary beam assembly, and in the wheel. Using the bra pry bar with the forward brake shoe with the wheel away from the wheel. Piece of the opposite side of the beam using the block placed between the wheel and the shoe size of the separated with the increase of clearance with the wheels retracting the double acting the slack just during the side of the brake cylinder. Disc um, five four five four five. Disconnect the brake cylinder hose with the cylinder flange. Disconnect the handbrake cables. Remove the cotter pins at eighteen and the cable pin seventeen. Five four four six. The hose disconnect with the inspection cover. Oh, inspect the hose for overage, abrasion, cracks, soft spots. Loosen the defective five fittings of the per roll five of the Association of American Railroad. Places required for cylinders equipped with the cable section. Steps five four four seven through five four four nine. 5447 and disconnect the both cables to two equalizer plates 20 with remove the cutter pins 18 pins and 9 17 remove the 4404 54448 remove the hex head screws 21 lock nuts 22 remove the chain 23 to the, from the between the two the equalizer plate 20 5449 loose the cable lock nut holding the cable to the car bracket 19 remove the cable from the bracket 19 um for cylinders, mechanical handbrake, 54410, remove the chain from the lever, 54411, remove the cotter pin, 7 of the hinge, 10 from the lever, 6, remove the cylinder assembly, 12 from the lever, 6, remove uh, 5412, uh, 54412, remove the brake shoes, key, the keys, 13 from the beams, 1 and, and 8, remove the brake shoes, 14, discard the brake shoes if they are worn beyond the acceptable standards, 54413, cylinder assembled is 12, that must be transported to the Association of American Railroad approved for the air brake shoes, reconditioning. 54414 suitable containers must be provided with the assembly must be carefully handled at the car while building being transported to the to and from the cars they also part of the effectively protecting against the damage and contact of any car and dirt note is the responsibility of the individual is to provide with the adequate protective means 54415 assembly install the cylinder assembly 12 um, into the lever 6 with a secure the cylinder assembly 12 to the lever 6 using the pin stand and cotter, cotter pin 7 note that the brake cylinder 12 the ram is to be fully retracted before installation. 54416. Install the new 2 inch brake shoes to the brake heads. 4 on the beams assembly 1 and 8. Insert the brake keys to 13 to hold the brake shoes. 14 to the removal of the brake heads. 4. 54417. Replace the air hose ring gasket with the connecting the air hose with the 1 half an inch flange of the top of the cylinder 12 with the torque grade 5 and the 55 pound with the half foot. And plus or minus five foot and drive torque for cylinders equipped with the cable steps of I 18 through 54421. If the cable is not less than 10, min 10 inches minimum, is required a proper installation. 54418 attach the cable to mounted brake place one nut and one washer on each side of the bracket 19 tighten nuts. 54419 insert the chain 23 between the two equalizer plates 20 secure the place. Um, using the head cap the screws 21 and lock nuts 22 do not tighten the nut 22 until the cables are connected to either end of the equalizer 4420 um, 54420 to connect both cables to the equalizer place 20 using the pin 17 and cotter pins 18 54421 2 orcs the lock nuts 21 to 35 plus or minus 2 feet a pound of dry torque um, for cylinders equipped with the mechanical dry, dry handbrake 5422 Connect the um, 54422. Connect the chain lever to the chain lever. Warning: To avoid personal injury from moving to the various parts when operating the system, all personnel must be cleared of the truck and brake pads before the cylinder is pressurized. 54423. Apply to the 50, 20 to 50 pound air pressure to the cylinder assembly 12. Cycle the cylinder two or three times and ensure the normal two inch piston is tri achieved. The slack adjuster is automatically adjusted with the operating brake shoe the clearance with the correct distance from release of the air pressure. 54424. Testing after all the repairs have been. Completed the brake cylinder must be tested per Rule 3 of the Association of American Railroad F Field Manual. Know that the TMB60 TMB cylinders have approximately 2 inch working pit piston stroke on the 50 PS 
PSI breaks on a, um, at 50 PSI breaks on a pressure. The second gesture located inside the cylinder is double acting and automatically maintains the constant piston travel taking up the lefting of the slack with each of the brake applications. The piston stroke indicator mounted on the top of the pneumatic cylinder. 54425 recondition with the TMB60 brake cylinder. Return to the New York air brakes by contacting any field office. Um, this shows the Truck mounted system brake system with handbrake, one brake beam assembly, two the pin brake head, three the pin pin cotter, four the brake head, five the pin lever, six six the lever assembly, seven the pin cotter, eight the beam assembly, um, nine. Uh, push rod assembly 11, or sorry, 10, pin rod and eye, um, 12 assembly, cylinder assembly, key brake shoe, brake pad, key brake shoe 13, brake pad 14, 15 bridge piston stroke indicator 17, pin cable 18, pin cotter 19, bracket 20, equalizer 21, cap screw 22, nut and 23, chain. All right.